Hello everyone, this is Mike, welcome to my channel, Mike the Tech Savvy. I will be reviewing today one of the best custom ROMs for the Samsung Galaxy S10 lineup, Beyond ROM. I will start off by saying that this specific custom ROM is compatible with all Galaxy S10 variants, which is really nice. So this including the S10e that I have. I will start off with a couple of instructions on how to install it on your device if you'd like to. Then I will talk about its features and about its advantages and disadvantages. And at the end I'll probably bring on some conclusion. This is the first custom ROM that I'll be reviewing for the Galaxy S10. I will also have a future review about Lineage OS 17.1, so Android 10. Okay, so let's start off. Um, I have the phone already installed with Beyond ROM 6.2, the latest version is 6.5 as of now, but it's more or less the same, the only difference is that now we have the February security patch level and a couple of bug fixes. Let's start off with the installation process and afterwards I will go through the ROM itself. So what's really important is that you should come from a stock Samsung ROM, you can download it very easily with Samfirm or on Updato or there are a couple of websites, I will try to list them below just so you can get an idea. Get the latest ROM, unzip it, flash it with Odin and then you'll be left with a freshly stock installation of Samsung's Android. After that's done, you should go into about phone, software information and then build number until you activate developer mode. Go here and tick the OEM unlock box. If you don't have an unlock bootloader already, I have it so it's not even here anymore. And of course tick the USB debugging box. This is a must whenever you want to make changes to the device. After that's done, you can simply flash Ian's latest patched TWORP in Odin. You open Odin, you put the image in the AP slot, you put this phone into download mode. I will show you right now how can you do this. The easiest way to go into download mode is to press volume down in Pixby and at the same time connect a USB Type-C cable which of course is powered at the other end. So press the 2, connect the cable afterwards and download mode should pop up exactly like here this is download mode right now you can open Odin with admin rights you can place the latest patched TWRP in the AP slot make sure auto reboot is ticked now you should be ready to switch very quickly to recovery mode this being the volume up plus Bixby combination and immediately after pressing start into Odin, you should keep this combo pressed, the device will restart and you should go straight into the patched TWRP. Once TWRP has booted up, you should go into wipe, format data, type in yes here and then wipe. After you've wiped the data for the first time, you should reboot into recovery once again. Once you're back here, you should flash the latest multi-disabler which is this one and then swipe to confirm flash and then immediately just flash beyond ROM zip file. Let me just take you through the Aroma installer for a moment. It's really nice that you have this Aroma installer and that you can choose exactly what you want and what you don't want depending on your tastes. So this is the Aroma installer for the 6.2. Going to next read everything that's here, tick this box and type next, you can go into system info, you can see some information or you can see the change log, go into installation, you can do full wipe, dirty wipe, I always recommend a full wipe the first time, warning boot, screen off or on, stock emojis or iOS emojis, now you can select a specific Bixby button mapping, you can select the color photo type, I usually use the half screen in cold UI, boot animation, modded services, here it's really nice that you can basically choose whatever you want as bloatware and whatever you don't want. So what's ticked will be removed, 
just take this into account you can select the CSC and after that the installation will move forward and you're ready to go I will now quit the installation and take you to the ROM itself you don't need to wipe cache and Dalvik after the installation you can just simply reboot into system and that's gonna be it the first reboot might take a little longer so do not worry too much just wait it out I really like that you get no warnings here and of course that you have the beyond ROM boot animation which will be coming in a second yep this is the one this was a brief description of the installation process if you'd like to install beyond ROM on your device please do read all the detailed instructions on the XDA thread I have linked it in the video description and the ROM has booted up as you can see it looks exactly like a stock Samsung ROM I will give you a few features of this ROM just so you can be aware of them it uses the stock Samsung kernel if you want you can install the Nemesis kernel I haven't really felt the need for it if you have any problems with that one is a bit more tweaked for performance and for battery life I didn't really feel the need to install that custom kernel you have some CSC features camera sound menu, call recording camera can be activated during calls and such which is really nice Nox is partially removed includes security bypasses from uh, Ian's multi disabler you have some build prop tweaks call ring delay, S health fix because S health doesn't usually work when you're rooted Bluetooth password reminder plus if you want you can have a dual sim and an SD card at the same time you can disable high volume warnings previously whenever you had a custom ROM you had to always restart into recovery nowadays this is not the case anymore you can simply restart the device normally into system and it will go in the rooted system straight away and of course you can also power it off and turn it on no problems whatsoever I love about this ROM that it's really really stable it's very battery friendly it has a very reduced amount of bloatware it's cleaned up compared to the stock Samsung ROM and of course in the Aroma installer you can choose whatever packages you want I won't dwell too much on the details everything is exactly like in a stock ROM that the differences are there under the hood this custom ROM is updated monthly if you do have a Samsung Galaxy S10 device no matter which version S10e, S10 Simple or the S10 Plus and you want a custom ROM you want full access to the device including Magisk and of course you want a very stock like experience and by stock like I mean Samsung like in this case you should definitely go for this beyond ROM custom ROM it's incredible it was created by a user from XDA forums called Starbucks 2010 I'd like to thank him as well for doing an amazing job and for also releasing this ROM for the SNE most of the custom ROM developers don't bother to release it for the SNE they only release the custom ROMs for the S10 and for the S10 plus even if you wouldn't say at the first sight the devices are quite different and it requires quite a lot of work to make a custom ROM work on this specific variant as well I'm assuming I don't have to but I will always say it once again this ROM only works on Exynos based Samsung Galaxy S10s so do not try to install it on Snapdragon variants to be honest I'm not really sure if you have root access on Snapdragon variants you might have but for sure you don't have any custom ROMs unfortunately in the past few years the custom ROM community has been reduced because the phones have become very powerful you don't really need to overclock, underclock, overvolt or undervolt any components things have become really good from the get-go so you don't really need this kind of tweaking to get a device to perform optimally this ROM is probably the best choice to be honest I don't see any disadvantage with this ROM I would definitely choose it over stock anytime it's really simple to install if you have any questions about the installation process feel free to leave them in the comment box below 
this was my review for today thank you so much for watching it if you liked it please do press the thumbs up button if you'd like to see more similar videos in the future also press the subscribe button which will be displayed right here in the bottom left part this was my detective thank you so much once again wish you a great day bye